Hello friends, welcome. I am Rahul Singh, and uh, today I am going to discuss about the Raspberry Pi, which is the small ATM card size small computer. And uh, today I will discuss about uh, some of the basic features and uh, how to install the Raspberry Pi's operating system. And uh, so I will like to show you that uh, how Raspberry Pi looks like. This is the our uh, small Raspberry Pi. Uh, I will discuss some of the features uh, and I will tell you that where are these parts in line in this board, okay? Uh, this is our uh, web page where uh, from where I am going to show you that uh, how we can get the features of the Raspberry Pi, okay? Um, here, uh, okay, from where it is on. Okay, here you can see that the first feature is it has the uh, 64 bit quad core ARM Cortex processor and uh, 53 core uh, and its second is the GPU 400 megahertz lithium multimeter processor uh, 1 GB of the HD RAM 900 megahertz of the clock frequency it has the 4 USB ports here you can see that here it has got the 4 USB ports okay mm, and these uh, here we can connect the external peripheral devices such as the mouse keyboard camera webcam etc etc okay and uh, it has the network uh, adapter of the ethernet port here we, it has got the one ethernet port okay here you can see that the, there is the one ethernet port and uh, uh, for the wireless connectivity there is the one wi-fi adapter also in this uh, they have inbuilt given the wi-fi adapter mm, and the uh, 17 peripherals bus the specific function is that you know, here we can see that here here we can, you can see that uh, these are the external gpio pins okay and uh, it has the Bluetooth in built Bluetooth and the power source uh, from here we can provide the our 5 volt power supply okay this is the board and uh, from here you can provide the 5 volt power supply okay and uh, its size is uh, 85 here you can see that the its size is this and uh, this is its web okay uh, closing it I am going to show you that how we can install the operating system in our Raspberry Pi for this you will need a SD card uh, of minimum of the 16 GB. I have got it with me. This is the 16 GB micro SD card. It is with me. And uh, for this uh, you have to download uh, two of the software. First is the your image. Uh, what you are going to be uh, in a, what you are going to where where it was. Mm. Okay, huh? Here, uh, from this site, I will download the image of the uh, image of the operating system which uh, we will burn in our Raspberry Pi. This is the website from where we will download the our image. And uh, for that, uh, you have to go to the downloads page. And uh, in the downloads, you have to select the type which you are going to install in our in our Raspberry Pi. But here, you can select the different windows: Windows 10, Ubuntu, Raspbian. Linux and uh, here the, it is the Raspbian. It is the most popular, widely used operating system. So I will download this and install. Okay, just click here. Uh, it will bring you to this page. Here, these are the two versions. This is the version 4.4, and uh, it was released in the 2017-11 first version. Okay. For that, uh, you have to download the zip file. Okay, just click on download zip and uh, it will start downloading this file for you okay but uh, i have already this file so i will stop it first of all you download this and uh, after downloading the image you will get this this zip file okay this is the zip file which you will get after downloading the image of your operating system and uh, after downloading this zip file just extract it here this is the image file which you have accepted from this and uh, now coming to the second part which is the writer this imager this is the third party software which is used, basically used to write the images uh, of our running system to uh, our removable disks such as the our micro sd card with the help of this software i will write my operating system to this micro sd card okay uh, after uh, here you can download it from this source for this is the third body software. Okay, my phone is coming. Okay, sorry. Sorry for that. Now, uh, just download this. It will bring you to the this page. And uh, after downloading, 
this is the for your windows operating system you can download it from here and uh, after uh, i have already downloaded just you can download this this is the file you will get after downloading that file and just extract it it will here okay now we have we are we all are done now just take your sd card with the help of card reader just in, insert in your any usb ports and open this folder here you will get the application win32 disk imager just double click to open it okay it is trying to be last for permission yes try okay okay now our application has been started and loaded and uh, here uh, it is asking for the image file location just click here and provide the location for your image and this is the image just provide location for this and open mm, okay, sorry sorry i have given the location for the other it is the beagle bone operating system i am not going to install this in our raspberry pi so just go backward and uh, here it is our raspberry pi operating system this is the image file which we are going to write okay here i have not inserted any external sd card or a card reader so it will not show me from here you will select uh, your uh, selected drive where you want to write drive means your sd card it is either h or i just click here and finally after selecting this you have to just press on write when you will press write it will automatically write the complete image in your uh, sd card and your sd card is now ready to insert in your raspberry pi and you have all com successfully completed your uh, writing of the image to your sd card so thank you for watching this video and uh, in the next video i will show you that how we can connect our raspberry pi to our operating system so that we can program it and uh, access its terminal and uh, i will also discuss how we can get our graphical display in our uh, laptop so that we can program it very easily okay thank you friends okay